two white lines trail across a light blue screen. They form the outline of four people. Two appear to be supporting the others. They reform into the Social Care Institute for Excellence logo, sharing knowledge, improving lives. The screen fades to black. Moving images of care leavers. The title, Care Leavers Stories, Reflections on Being in Care. The Sky, British Library and Heritage Lottery Fund logos. In 2013, four specially trained young care leavers conducted oral history interviews with older care experienced people. The interviews are two to three hours long and are recorded on digital video. The interviews are permanently stored in the British Library's oral history archive. This film includes extracts from a range of interviews. It illustrates some of the main themes covered in the archive. Reasons for being taken into care. A series of interviews. When I was a lot younger, sort of my dad was in the RAF, my mum was sort of working sort of for Princess Diana, so she came to like our christening and, and stuff. Later down the line, you know, we sort of mum dies and up in the curve and everything and it's just sort of a really I'd find it really weird. Um, you know, and it sort of also makes you think, you know, the what ifs. I can see my father cycling down the road on his bike and just absolutely collapsing outside the house and falling dead to the ground. I went to a hospital, they called the social workers. There'd been a history of me being battered. I was taken into care and that's where I stayed until I was 16. The title, Who Listened? They weren't listening to me, they were just dragging their heels. No one wanted to know, they just saw another kid from care kicking up a fuss. And then when Bernardo's advocacy service kicked in, uh, they were full on, right, this is how he feels, this is what's happened, this is what we Bernardo's one and this is what him and client Matt wants um, and it was only really then that they actually took note, started acting. There was a dear welfare officer called Mrs Porter. I loved her to bits and she was the official welfare officer for the hostel and it was like when she visited the sun came out. It, she made everything normal. The NHS are going to go, well you're not crazy so you know you don't need to counsel her. Oh, but I've got some issues that I want to, oh, go and, go and suck it up. That's what they're going to really say, you know, and people don't understand the, especially in government, don't understand the deep underlying issues that a lot of people in care have. The title, The Emotional Impact of Being in Care. When people come to approach me, I would back back, yeah, because I suppose it's because you were never used to having a cuddle or a kiss. I mean, my belief systems from a young age were were affected from being in care, from not being in care, you know, just of how a family unit should be, you know, what's love, you know, how do you show love, how do you, you know, are you pretending to show love, all these things, you know, how do you quantify these things, you know, it's very difficult. I think my background has reinforced my morality, it's reinforced how, um, how your life can be really messed up by having a negative selfish attitude and if you have a positive attitude and if you take control of your life and have a good sense of moral values then I think you can achieve really great things. And it's made me become that stronger and sort of richer person and a person that, that hopefully will make changes for the generations behind me. I'm in a different chapter of my life now and I'm living. You know, I'm living good. I'm living good, you know. The title, Giving Back and Achievements. Goldings was sort of the, uh, what would you say, the Cambridge University of, of Bernarda Homes, if you like. So I came out basically with the skill of a carpenter um, and a shoemaker, stroke, shoe repairer. Although I left school without any qualifications, I did eventually become an adult educator. I had managerial positions and I'm a really, really, a really good teacher, you know. I still train people and I like to train teachers how to, how to teach. Currently I'm a Commissioner of Services for People with Learning Disabilities and I'm in the process of leaving my job and um, actually setting up my own consultancy company. And I intend in 20 years time to still be championing kids in care and the care system and Hopefully by then a lot of changes will have been made and I'll still be contributing to them. I like the um, idea of helping kids, you know, helping 
kids who come from a background like my own or far worse than my own of involved with action for children been matched with one lad he hasn't got a father figure as such and um, he's in he's in care i was a youth worker for 15 years and i worked with thousands and thousands of teenagers i found over the years the ones that were um, the most problemed were the nicest kids in the world a screen displaying key learning points. Children in care can benefit greatly from independent advocacy. Children in care invest a great deal of importance and emotion into relationships with care workers they feel they can trust. The profound emotional impact of being in care is sometimes not understood. Some care leavers choose professions that enable them to use their experiences to support other people. A screen displaying further information. To find out more about the Care Leavers Stories project, visit scie.org.uk. To view the archive, visit bl.co.uk. Thanks to everyone involved in the making of this film, filmed and directed by Flexible Films. The Sky Logo, copyright 2013.